All right, now I can start playing. I cut out the part where there was a technical issue for the VOD later on YouTube, so. Pro Controller just decided not to connect, and even when plugged in, it was being weird, so I don't know. I plugged in a second controller, and then it started working. Beats me. Um, but hey, welcome. Okay, uh, I'm gonna look up the list of stuff you can get in January. Because I don't really get much of a chance to play during the day, it's... I mean, I guess on weekends I could, but generally speaking, I stick to nighttime play, so let's just see. Give me, like, 30 seconds. CJ? Okay. Other than that, nothing else. So, fish... Sea creatures... Oh, there's an all critter section. Okay. Uh, what can I catch this month? Or what can I catch right now? That's the one. So, let's see. Um... Giant cicada on trees. Alright, that's one. Uh, it looks like there's cicadas on trees right now. Isopod in the ocean. Jellyfish in the ocean. Alright, there's, there's a few things. Uh, fish, it's just the mahi-mahi. Apparently the sunfish is around now, so there's a new big fish in the ocean. There's quite a bit to do. Alright. Got it. Did this, did this work? Well, you know what? It did work in the sense that it did give me flowers, just not unique flowers. So it does work. If someone visits your island and waters your flowers, it means there's a higher chance for flowers to just appear the next day. So it did work. Just, uh, it did not give me blue ones, unfortunately. That's okay. I'm doing this earlier, so then later today, I don't run out of time. <laughs> well, not that I ran out of time, it's just it got super late, and I do want to play more Warrior and Nier, so... I think trying to do three games is a bit tricky. The problem with this is I start doing stuff and then before I know it, it's been three hours and then I kind of have to cut the other two a bit shorter. I don't know if I have that, hang on. But it's, uh, it's miserable outside today. Like a thunderstorm, so I am indoors. I think that's just a shell, right? Yeah. Accidentally press double B. Okay, uh, I'll go place this the speaker and the neon light.
So what, I need one, two, three, four, five. Nearly done. I just haven't prioritized it because there were other stuff that I wanted to get before this. You're here just finishing up some work. All good. I'm here, but just decorating stuff. <laughs> it's fine. Also sipping on apple lemonade, because it's... <sighs> it's warm, but it's also thunderstorms. It's just... You know what? I should be relieved, because... They were going to say that the summer was going to be as bad as it was in 2019. And if you don't know, in 2019, that's when, like, a third of Australia was on fire. Which, it sounds bad, but that third that was on fire um, was, like, places where no one really lives, so. <laughs> hey, Shell, how's it going? So, I should be relieved, but at the same time, I don't know, man. I just want summer to be summer, you know? The flowers did grow. I got all these ones, but no hybrids. But at least it worked. It did work. I got six flowers from up here. I haven't checked the rest yet. So, I guess that's a good trick if you wanna speed up your flowers is just get someone to water them and visit. Is that blue or is that purple? Oh, I got another purple. Nice. Alright. Good. Good. <laughs> Alright. You alright? Thanks. How am I? Hope don't get fires. Uh, where I live, I don't. So, the way it is in Australia is, um, you know, we're a big country. Pretty big country. But the majority of the country, you can't actually really live in it because it's just a bit of a wasteland. So the majority of the population lives along the coast, so... It's not like, say, Europe or the US, where everyone's spread across the land pretty equally. Here, it's everyone is clustered along the ocean. So, when I say that the country's on fire, it's true. But it generally refers to, like, parts of the country where there aren't many people, if any. So, The way it does have a negative effect, however, is... Um, you can get smog. So, yeah. When it gets really bad... Um, it's just smoggy outside. Hey, Messiah, how's it going? Long time no see. Uh, how was New Year's Christmas stuff? Yeah, so see. Everything grew here. Look at how many pansies I got. Oh, man. Is this how people do it? They just get someone to water their, their plants for them. I don't think I've ever seen this many grow overnight. Yeah, look, like, practically filled up the whole area overnight. And most of them are blue as well. Well, this is going to make pansies easier because I got a bunch of hybrid reds out of it. So even though I didn't get more... Alright, let me go sell these. Um, even though I did not get more purple, there's a bunch of hybrid reds, so it should make it a bit easier to get the others. There you go. It does work. Don't really tell you much about it. Well, sweet, how about me? Uh, Christmas is alright. Um, just hung out with the cousins, because most of... The older relatives are overseas at the moment. So we just 
did a dinner amongst ourselves. Just, it was pretty laid back. And then New Year's, I just went and caught an earlier fireworks show with uh, my brother, niece, and his partner. Because they they started doing multiple fireworks shows here, so... Because the city gets crowded, I imagine the reason they do it is so, oh, if people want to catch an earlier one and not hang around till midnight, they can do that now. And then there's also the midnight one. So then I just <laughs> I just played Animal Crossing until midnight, and that was about it. Nothing else, really. Just been enjoying not having to work. Though I'm back at work next week. I think I already got that hat. I got that. I got our like. Try and not get up too late in the morning. It's been nice to be able to just get up whenever, but over the next few days I have to get into the habit of getting up early again. But well, I say early, but honestly, not as early as I used to get up. That's still fine. Yeah, I mean last year was busy with work, but also just November and December. Well, early December anyway. The move was definitely the right call. I found out, um... So the place did not get sold. They couldn't find anyone to buy it. I think the dude just gave up pretty quickly. Because absolutely no one was turning up to the inspections. And, uh... Anyway, the guy... It looked like he got rid of the real estate agent that were managing the property beforehand. And then swapped to a different company. And that company, I've had them before, and they're just, uh... They're very picky. They're very annoying. So it meant that it would have gone to them, and they would have been probably as annoying as they were the first time I had them. But then they also put the, uh... The rent up of the place by another $300. That's what they're asking. Like, they're asking for more than what I pay here. Currently, so... I avoided a headache, because it definitely would have meant that in December I would have had to have looked for a new place anyway. So. Bullet dodged. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. I think, and it's kind of horrible, but the reason... I, can, I think I can understand why they're asking for more. One thing I've noticed here is all the ground floor apartments, um, they have easy access. Like, they have a gate, they're pretty guarded. Um, but I noticed that a lot of assisted living people live here. Like, on the ground level. So imagine what the guy is trying to do is get someone who's on assisted living. Like, and... Because I think they get, like, some sort of help from the government to find houses to live in. So, I imagine he's bumped it up to that price, so then it's like, he, you know, no, a normal person probably wouldn't go after that place, but then someone who has help from the government, and it's like a ground floor apartment, has easy access to an elevator, like all that shit. I reckon that's what the dude's trying to do. It wouldn't surprise me. He's a little bit dodgy from what I've learned. It's alright, it is what it is. A skateboard. I actually need skateboards. Because now I can craft the... Shady, yeah. But the thing is, the place has been on the market for rent for like a month now. No one's taken it, so... The dude's gotta be losing money.
I've got a few of them. I mean, overall, uh, it's better here. I think the, the biggest deal for me is just the amount of natural light this place gets compared to the other. The other just felt like a cave. Which it was fine, but being here... Am I gonna check out the upcoming new Yakuza game? I want to, but from what I've heard, it continues the story, so it's like, it's technically Yakuza 8. And I haven't played 6 and 7 yet. I just finished 5, so... And it sucks, because it comes out the day before my birthday, so it's perfect. But I probably will skip it. Not because I don't want to play it, but because I want to get through the uh, the other two games in case it, you know, there's something story related. Because I do care about the story. So. Probably not right away. At some point. I just wrapped up five, so. I won't play six for a little while, but. Yeah, it'll... it'll happen eventually. Right now I'm playing Warrior World and Nier Automata. It's not a no- oh no, it's definitely a yes, like I am gonna play it. Just not right away. Like that one I can wholeheartedly say yes, I will play it, just not soon. I'm trying to go through a few games that have been on my backlog for a while. Wait, isn't isn't there a recipe involving skateboards? I swear there was. That I had. I bought a bunch of games that um, I'm gonna get through. I was trying to be careful of what I started as well, cause yeah, there it is. Skateboard and hard, ah, that's what's missing, hardwood. spent like the last two weeks just trying to make sure that the uploads to YouTube were okay. And I think they're fine now. The settings that I'm using now, they're not causing weird things to happen to the uploads. But now everything is in 4K, so over there it's finally settled down, but it was starting to frustrate me <laughs> a little. Because the problem was I wouldn't know until I uploaded it to it. And then it'd be like, alright, let's check if it's done it correctly. And then that's, I'd have to wait like six to seven hours for YouTube to do the processing and then I would know if it was messed up or not. But nothing has messed up in the last week and a half, so I think I think we're good. Okay, well that's all I was gonna make. Knock on wood. Nah, it should be fine. I was just using something that I guess isn't ready to be used yet. That's all it is. I think it, it works for streaming, but for local recordings, it's just not ready yet. So I'll try it again sometime later on in the year. It's not too much of a big deal. 
It's just the difference is the new stuff, the file sizes are smaller. And it does look a little better under certain circumstances, but overall it's like, it's fine. Like, I got, I got drive space now, it's fine. It's not like before where I had to juggle. I had to uninstall games and then daily be moving stuff, and yeah, that's not the case anymore. Am I happy with the new computer? Yeah, it's, it's been great. The only thing which it's just that I can't do anything about it that I don't like, it's just Windows 11. I just don't like Windows 11. That's it. Everything else about the computer is great. Like, uh, so far it's handled everything I want to throw at it. And, yeah, just... Things being the best quality they can be. That's what I'm happy about. Oh, that's not cool. Wow, that's not cool. Yeah, when combined with the, the upscaler thing I got over Christmas, it's just, it's nice. Did I remove the BRB contribution? Uh, temporarily because that do what I made doesn't work on the Windows 11. So I have to remake it. Because right now the BRB, I just took a recording of the screen from the old computer and then just, it's playing a video file currently. I need to fix it, which I just... And by fix it, I mean rebuild it. <laughs> I looked at it and I was like, ugh, this is just one of these things because I made it like, I don't know, six years ago. There's just a bunch of stuff that just, that says, hey, don't use this anymore. So I have to effectively rewrite it, I think is, is easier instead of trying to figure out what's busted and... It's not so much a technical difficulty, it's just, it's old. And I guess it just doesn't run on Windows 11. That's all it is. So I would just have to rebuild it. I guess the other alternative is I turn on the old computer. I... I add it there. Record it again. And then... Replace the video. But that's... It's a pretty long process. You've collected enough points. <laughs> I'm sorry. Have you thought about what you want to add? and get the stuff out of here and destroy the rock. You can wait and you have not thought about what you want to add. Oh, okay. Well, that gives me time. Wait a minute. Crap. Okay, but I'll know which ones they are. Buds, buds, plant. It's these ones. It's okay. Plant. There we go.
Yeah, I mean, it's not hard for me to go just add it on the other computer and then just re-record it. Especially if it doesn't happen often. It's not like it's going to be happening every week. <laughs> all the fossils I can go identify now I'm just glad this is finally like on its way to being done Outside of that, uh, what's new, Messiah? How are things? You have to think, you have to make it something funny or cute. People, they generally go for, like, an inside joke, typically. Like, if they saw something happen on stream that they thought was funny, they'll add it. Or just, I don't know, some quote stuff. I think Confirmy added one that was just saying, looking for the last heart piece, because that's all I was doing for a while. And sometimes it was self-inflicted, like, I accidentally forgot to pick the heart piece up when I would beat the boss. I think it only happened twice. I think it happened in Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, but I realized in Wind Waker. Alright, learn about this. Robust Cicada. The Robust Cicada got its name from the chirping sound it makes, which is said to be quite well robust. But Robust hardly describes it. Abrasive, bombastic, cacophonous. That's more like it. Beside the horrid caterwauling, this bug is known for its long wings, short body, and green colouring. But looking at a Robust Cicada is just as unpleasant as listening to one, and my eyes and ears are offended. I will admit, these things can be annoying if they're, like, around your house when you're trying to sleep. It's like being around an analog clock as well. I don't know. Just. Oh, these bees spend most of their lives underground where they gorge on tree roots. But once they emerge, they make an awful racket. In fact, some say their song sounds like a shrieking siren. I would rather listen to nails on the chalkboard. Okay. Had a wonderful Christmas with your family. Oh, that's nice. Did you get anything nice for Christmas? I forgot what I was going to say. Right, analog clocks. I can't be around them at night <laughs> if I want to sleep. My grandma used to have one. And just at a certain point... Sometimes you don't notice it, but if you notice it, it's just this thing that... It's just this thing that's going off in the background. It was, uh... That's why, that's why I would watch Spongebob sometimes at 3 in the morning. <laughs> it's that damn clock. No, well, not just that, but the the pull-out bed 
sofa thing that I was sleeping on also had, uh, it was not great. It would dig into my back sometimes. Some people say it's, like, therapeutic to have an analog clock. I don't know, man. It's like a tap dripping. Time with the fam was the biggest gift. Had a wonderful dinner. Ah, What do you usually have for dinner? Like, what are the staples? I mean, this year... We had mainly barbecued meats more than anything else, but... There was, like, lasagna and... Some salads. It's funny, I made a cheese platter thing, because no, I was, every year I always want to bring something, but my aunts and my mum in particular, like, no, don't bring anything. We got it covered, don't worry, just bring, bring your stomach, that's it. I'm like, but I'm an adult, like, I should be bringing things to dinner. No, don't bring anything. So this year when they were, when they were away, I thought of it, it's like, well, no one's going to do this, because no one in the family really does, like, cheese platters. So, I made one, and man, it got demolished. So I know what to bring next year, because I know no one's gonna make it. And also, it's like, gonna get demolished pretty quickly, and people still have room for food. Oops. Uh, I'm gonna go to halves and just... The dinner you were at a restaurant. Can't remember what each one got, but you had scallops with chili and a nice salad. Oh, scallops are good, though. When made correctly. What's the hot item of the day? Wooden stool and plain scones. You cannot have turkey on Christmas Day. So turkey for me, if it's just turkey on its own, um, I don't really... I mean, okay, here's my stance, right? When you put chicken next to turkey, okay? If you were to have someone to cook it to the best of their ability, you know? Like, it's the best it can be. Chicken will always be better because it's it, no matter which way you look at it but if you taste one and then taste the next turkey will always be drier than chicken no matter how good the turkey is however the day after christmas typically uh, we make sandwiches with it so there's like this this sandwich that's like uh Shit, I don't know how to say it in English, but it's uh, effectively, it's, I, it translates to drowned sandwich. It's like, ahogado, which means drowned. And all it is, is like, you get, you know, a long bread roll. You fill it with turkey and salad, and then you pour, like, these, I guess it's like a, a turkey juice. It comes from the actual turkey. And it's usually mixed with olives and tomato, I guess. And it's just poured over the sandwich till you basically drown the sandwich in it. And then you eat that. And it's great. That I like. But on Christmas Day, I'm just always like, man, just just make chicken. This, the Only the old people want turkey. Anyone under the age of 45 <laughs> doesn't want the turkey. You'd rather a dry sandwich? Nah, you haven't. You gotta try it. You gotta try it. Like, don't knock it until you try it. It's like how people dip their sandwich in soup, except I guess the soup is a little bit over it. It's not to the point where it's unmanageable, right? It's just... Wow. It's pretty good. And it makes the turkey not dry because you're, uh... 
You're putting juice over it. It's a texture thing. That's fair enough. The idea is... It's kind of like cereal, right? If you leave cereal B, it's going to become mushy. It's the same with the sandwich. It's like you eat it whilst you just did that quickly. So you eat it before it gets to the point where the bread starts to become a mush. The otherwise techy, it's yeah, it's all right, but every time I'd, I'd rather have chicken. It's just me. Ugh, there's nothing new here. Um, because I've already got the real statue here. I guess I'll buy this one and just get it to swap. What is this statue supposed to be, anyways? It's a real work of art. It's just, like, what is it? It's... Children feeding off a wolf? No idea. Yeah, no turkey this year. <laughs> On that note, it was just chicken. It was great. Okay, unbreakable tools, cool. Well, practically unbreakable. What did I get for Christmas? Uh, I got some tea. So, I got this kit that has a bunch of different tea flavors that are hot, and then I got a pack of this mango iced tea. So, it's made to be made into iced tea, and that tea is great. I've had it a few times already. Um, I got some clothing, and then one of my brothers got me, um, an art book for Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, and an art book of Dragon Ball, so it's just, yeah, just a bunch of artwork from the series. Pretty cool. I got another nerdy t-shirt. I, I got a PlayStation t-shirt now. So... It'll go with the Super Nintendo logo one I have. Actually, I don't have anything. That's about it. I need to get more of that tea once I run out. It is pretty nice. Do the daily aisle and then I'll go do happy home stuff. I'm still. Oh, yeah, and I need to see who's crafting what.
Hold on. Oh, but this is a common one. I should be. Yeah. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it. There's just stuff in the way. Oh. Right. I never moved this back. Whoops. There we go. Oh, it's the yellow one. Nothing gaming related this year for Christmas, so. <laughs> Which is good, no more other games to add to my backlog. Apparently I have to go there. All right, no worries. Well, thanks for popping in, Messiah. Enjoy the rest of your uh, day. Let's see ya. Uh, I forgot to get these. Well, now I know it's not gonna break anytime soon, so I can just do whatever I want here. I'm just gonna water this side. I think I'm good with the, uh, the pansies now. I'll let, the, uh, let them be. You know what? This makes sense now, because I, I think on that trading site for Animal Crossing, I've seen people offering services to water flowers. Like, why would anyone want to do that? And now it makes sense. Because... <laughs> I guess it makes it a lot easier to get what you want if you do that. That's kind of funny, but... There's a market for people just visiting other islands and watering the plants, like acting as a gardener. Oh, man, if I would have known. There's the other furniture, a squat toilet, which I hope I'll never have to use. They just, I don't know. I feel like it would be uncomfortable. Are these watered? Let me water them. Um. 
so let's see. I need to... I don't think I've got on the washed up bottle. And then I need to get the crafting recipe from whoever's crafting. I want that golden armor. The one I'm surprised I haven't gotten yet is the golden toilet. <laughs> I wanted them for the indoors bathroom that I have. But it just hasn't appeared yet. I'm looking at the fish list while I'm here. Oh, critter's list. I think I caught the giant snakehead. No, I wouldn't have because it says January. But apparently giant snakehead is a thing. Other than that, it looks like I've gotten most of the ones I should have gotten. Oh. I haven't done the one where you drop garbage and there's flies. I'll probably do that. That's easy to do. I'll just create a pile of garbage somewhere. I keep forgetting that's a thing. Nice. I can make the, the shelf now. You missed the fortune tell a bit. Like my fortune tell a bit. It's just the, uh, the tool not breaking, so. I don't have to worry about, well, they'll break eventually, it's just it'll take a while. Oops. Would have been useful yesterday. I have practically indestructible tools. Oh, wow, okay. This is just Money Island, then. Nate. I gotta make m m more donations to the hospital. This is pretty lucky then. I think this is the first time I've gotten an island where the rocks are doing something fancy. Like for these. 
The other ones I've gotten it plenty of times, but for these daily islands, I haven't really had anything special. I think I had one that was in a different season once, and it was like spring. It wasn't full. It'd be cool to get a full one, because then I can collect mushrooms, and... I can place them around... Like, I'll place decorative mushrooms. Make the forest area looks like look like a forest. I think that's it. Curiosity, what what are these? Just, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would imagine this one's the same. Yeah, okay. Alright, I'm leaving. It's nice that I got the money. I might just convert over some currency today anyway, since I got extra money. There are new ocean fish to catch, but I feel like I can just get those back at the island anyway. CJ is on the island anyway, so probably a good time to do that. I'm surprised they didn't come up with more songs for Catman. There's so many lines for like the daily advice or I guess mind blowing <laughs> that uh that you get from the stoner otter. How does it do this? Just... Okay, there we go. I don't know why. Uh, that can 
go away, and that as well. I look for the bottle that's washed up on the beach. Can't tell. Well, oh, never mind. Can't <laughs> tell if I had gotten that or not. Too late now. Hey, confirm. How's it going? Go to the doctor. Be back. Think you slipped this. Oh shit. Oh, hopefully not. But good luck. Oh, I scared it because it turned, I thought. I'm going to CJ first. Scoot. What have you got? I'm giving you the best workout equipment ever. A compact kitchen. Damn. It's a hell of a gift. Everyone's trying to rip me off by trying to buy my 90,000 bell sword on the cheap scoot. No. He gives me a whole kitchen. Sturgeon, why you were seeing things? <laughs> oh, why'd you see Sturgeon? Sturgeon, what? As in, Scoot gave me a sturgeon? You thought the tree shadow was a sturgeon. Oh. Now the sturgeon's long gone. That was in end of October. I know this because I caught my sturgeon at 11.59.40 seconds. 20 seconds is bad before it disappeared. like over 150 pieces of bait. <laughs> Spent three hours looking for that thing. And then just like right before I was like, well, guess I'm not getting it. It happened.
should collect these because they're all fish to get. Would help if I actually didn't miss. If only it would let me visit my own island with my old switch, then I would get my old switch out and come to this island and water my own plants. <laughs> I can't believe how much of an advantage it gives you when someone does that. That is just insane. Like I was expecting, oh, maybe like one or two extra flowers growing. Nope, the whole field just erupted in flowers. It is your best off getting someone to water your plants for you. What's the advantage? If someone comes to your island and waters your flowers, there's a higher chance that that flower will produce another flower overnight, hybrid or not. And I thought, oh, yeah, I guess what's, what does that mean? A higher chance? It's probably not that much. It was a lot. Like in one field, I think I got eight. And then over here... I've taken some of them out, but look at this. I've already... Rem consider that I I've removed, like, maybe six or seven already here. And there's still all these blue ones. And then I did end up getting another purple one overnight. So if you want to get hybrid colors, it's the best way to do it is you just get someone to visit your island and water your your plants and just have like this uh I guess agreement just they come water yours and you water theirs and the easiest way to get them oh <laughs> that was close It's an undocumented advantage, but they found it out with data mining. Oh, cool. Okay, well, that's good. Nah, Ugh, damn it, it's not big. Oh, wait, it counts, okay. I guess the shadow is still... But it's... whatever. Just don't question it. It's fine. It goes by shadow and not by what you actually catch. I had a dream where I started playing Blasphemous, and the very first thing I came across was a clown stage, <laughs> given that's all I did yesterday. It was... Oh look, it's another clown stage, another circus level. I didn't even know what the game plays like, but I know that I was playing it. I've never played it before. My brain just invented how the game looks.
Where is fish? I need no fish, please. Big fish. I just need one more. I'm worried that those ones aren't going to count. I may have to go into the museum and just reset what's around. It doesn't look like there's any big fish. Oh, I thought that counts. I think, I hope. Alright, cool. I forgot where CJ is. I think he's hanging out at the museum. to make I'll just sell the ones that I don't want to make a model of I guess all of these Like its cousin the blowfish, when the puffer fish feels threatened, it inflates into a spiky balloon. The biggest difference between them is that the puffer fish is not deadly poisonous like its kin. So while it may look scary, the substantially reduced risk to life and limb makes it much better company. Huh. I thought they were both poisonous, but okay. Lesson learned. Yeah, 
Okay, I mean, I've been hanging on to things. Um, oh, I have a lot of Arapaima. I actually had several extra. Guess I may as well hang on to these for Flick. I'll have to start making a bunch of models if I'm gonna go with that idea. And our Pima. What are the odds that I get this in four casts? I think this is it. Top. What lies? It works. That's weird. I'll definitely hang on to the frog, because I feel like having a frog model would be cool. Why is it being so picky? Progress even just a frog itself, a live frog. Turn around. Okay. I'll hang on to these. Yeah. 
Okay. I'll be back. Crap, get bait. How much time I spent looking for that sweet fish because the wiki lied to me. What I'd lie about. I'm using this tracker that tells you what fish to catch. So, for some reason, this tracker's incorrect for this fish for the southern hemisphere. Half of the wikis say it's available from December, and the other half say it's available from January. So, I spent like an hour looking for it before. I was like, wait, this can't be right. This fish says it's, it's like common, so why am I not running into it? So, yeah. It was correct for the Northern Hemisphere. I think someone just messed up and made it say it's available in December. It's okay. How's it going anyway, Star? Did you fix your website stuff? You hear Balloon, where is Balloon? Okay, okay, how am I doing? I'm doing alright. Just thunderstorms outside, so I don't really got a lot to do. I might mess around with some video editing in a bit, but for now. You kinda fixed it. That's good enough. Clear skies here in game, but if it's representative of what happens in Melbourne, it's, it, it doesn't matter. It could look like this, and then in a couple hours' time, it'll just be thunderstorms. playing this now so then later on I don't have to try to divide the time so much between the other two games. Bought an apron. Okay, thanks for the apron. So Scoot gave me a kitchen and now I have an apron. Hmm. They're trying to hint at something. What's this fish in the pond for? Hold on. Okay, so for another hour. Assuming it's not incorrect about that too. This is the problem is... Now that that happened, 
once, it's just I'm gonna be paranoid that it's gonna happen again. Like, I'm just gonna doubt it every time until I see it. Came back at a weird time. Nah, it's the wiki. It lied to me. But I'm not sure if it's telling the truth right now. Not even a meme. <laughs> it lied. Said a fish was available in December, and it really meant January, so I wasted an hour last time. So now that that's happened, it's like, well... Could happen again. I have to remember that the sunfish is, like, supposedly available, so I should probably be going for these bigger shadows. to do laundry today but because it's all thunderstorms and stuff I have to put it off till tomorrow hopefully it'll be better I could do it and put it indoors to dry but it just doesn't in time I mean, I already have some. I'll, I'll go see if it gets me what I want. hear them they're thinking but I'm worried they're gonna be like hey come over to my house
Three more. Hmm, what now? Thinking out loud. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask. Fine. Oh, yeah, this was what I'm afraid of. No, you're not moving. I want you to stay. I mean, they periodically, a villager will want to move out. It's not because I've done anything wrong. Just the game giving you the chance to rotate villagers if you want. But, uh, it's not really, because had I ignored it, it's not like they move out. It just, the bubble moves to someone else tomorrow. That's how it works. If you ever want a villager to move out, the moment you get that dialogue, close the game, reopen it, and then just wait till the next day and it'll move to another villager. And you just repeat until the person you want to move out is gone. So, it's like an inconsequential conversation. I don't know. I'm a bit bad in real life when it comes to that, it's like... If someone is doing the thing where they're hinting and want me to ask about something, I won't. It's like, genu genuinely, unless it's something where it's like, oh, truly dire and serious, I'll be like, just tell me what you want to say. Like, obviously, if something's dire and serious, and I'll empathize and ask, but in general. I thought I was quick enough. Like, hmm, hmm, what to do, what to do, what to do. What's wrong? Oh, I don't know, I'm trying to pick between the color red and blue for my new toaster. I've had too much of that. <laughs> it's made me a little jaded in that regard. The conversation bait. Man, what a dilemma. What am I to do? How am I going to manage? Whoop. Honestly, I'm I'm perplexed, I'm flummoxed. What's wrong? Oh nothing. I was just thinking whether I should use white bread or multigrain on my sandwich. just check something real quick. Ow! Oh, I already got it. Oh, 
So I guess it's not new to the season then. So then I'm missing Mahi Mahi. Okay. I'll keep the small ones. these on the pier and see how I go. Shadow over here. Hang on to the ones that would make interesting specimens to hang on to. There we go, that's something. Doesn't look like I'm gonna have luck with the other ones. the last piece of bait. Wahoo! 
Uh, that'll lay, that'll lay. I think I have to donate this one. If I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it's the last one. Hey Hannah, how's it going? Wake up leathers. Tell us more about these. Cicadas are obnoxious insects, and not just brown cicadas, mind you, but all cicadas. They flex ribbed mit- uh, wait, they- Oh, they flex ribbed membranes on their torso, called timbals, to make loud snapping sound. A loud snapping sound. Jeez, I don't know. For some reason that sentence didn't click for a sec. It is only the males who make that noise, sometimes at a volume that can produce pain at close range. Appallingly inconsiderate. You're good? Good to hear. Um, I'm alright, just... It's kind of miserable outside, so I'm just chilling, playing games. It's just thunderstorms on and off. Since I have new things to get during the day, I figured I'd get them. It's cold and rainy there, yeah. I mean, it's still... Mm, it's not cold here, yeah, it's sort of still warm, but it's just raining, that's all. I suppose it beats extreme heat. here for a bit. I'll see what I can get. I'm not gonna... whoops. Rush. If I can find some of the new stuff. Yeah, how's uh, New Year's get up to much? I'm hearing a balloon that's probably not good. It's heading away from me. Right? Like, there's no point in looking at it. Ah. Uh, I might still be able to catch it. Oh no, it's going in. That's fine. Didn't do much. Just chilled at home. Yeah, honestly, same. I did see a fireworks display. Um, because they do an earlier one, so I did catch that. But afterwards, I just came home. It was super crowded.
Let's do one lap of this. There were lots of fireworks in your neighborhood. They're still going off at 3 to 4 a.m. Damn. Nah, here, not really. I think the last one I heard was at about 2, at least that I noticed. There were people setting off fireworks the night before for some reason. At like 9.30, I don't know why. <laughs> so weird. Like, okay, you're gonna set off fireworks at 9.30 on December 30th? Are oh, these are new. Fireworks started at 5 p.m. Can you even set them off? I mean, I guess it depends where you live. Like some places of the world do get dark when it's 5 p.m. Here, I don't, even winter, I don't think you could do that. Like, it would still be light outside. It gets dark at like 4 p.m. because winter. Oh. <laughs> One of those places, huh? I can't, I can't imagine what that's like. Here in summer, it's 9 p.m. and the sun's still up. And then in winter, it's like 5.30, 6 p.m. Generally 6 p.m. That's roughly it. You're in Canada still. It's like one of those places that actually gets winter. When you compare it to me. All right, Stoner Otter, what have you got for me today? Hey man, about that scallop of yours, can I have it? Go for it. Oh, thanks for your generosity, man. Since you were cool, I'll, I'll left you something you'll dig. While I'm at it, let me lay some truth on you, the deep kind. Feel this. You always gotta go for the glory, no matter what. I mean, unless you don't want to, man. Stick that in your skillet and let it simmer. Yep, today's a good day. Yes, yeah, Stoner Otter, that's what I call him. He also kind of reminds me of a cousin I have. He just says stuff like that. And tends to wear beanies a lot. And has a mustache. <laughs> so, it's like, this otter is a spirit animal. Hipster Stone Otter. Is he a hipster? He hasn't said anything that would hint hipster. the stoner cousin, but I don't think he's a hipster. He's just a free spirit dude. look at us, you wouldn't be able to think we were related. Oh, there we go. Cool. That's what I was looking for. I think that's all of them. Yeah, I mean, he did live with me and my brother for a while, and 
the, some stories. But the one in particular I think to is just, he sort of flooded my room a little. The, the, the long story made short is he took a shower, had music going in the shower, was facing the other way, and he forgot that he had the sink running. He must have shaven or something before he hopped in the shower, but he left the tap going. And so, I guess he was facing the other way, and unbeknownst to him, the sink overflowed and just started spreading to the rest of the house. So I'm in my room playing Overwatch with uh, the housemates. And then I turn around and, well, it's just this pool of water just, like, creeping closely to me. So I had to rush and get towels, and it was, it was funny. But just... I don't know how you don't realize it's happening, but I can, like, I don't know. That's what I mean. It's like shower thoughts, you know? That's probably what was going on. He was very sorry. He was very sorry. Like, you know. Twitch senses hipster? What do you mean Twitch has... Ha why? I haven't got auto mod on. At least I don't think so. I can see the word hipster. Really? Hipster? The Apple app have sensors. Oh, that's annoying. I guess that makes sense. Because Discord does something similar as well. It's just so they... It's to avoid having the app having to be rated higher in the App Store. I believe that's the reason they do it. What if a child got their hands on the Twitch app, eh? And they saw a dirty word like hipster. What if they saw a dirty word like hipster? What would happen to the child, huh? It's not like they can listen to a streamer say the word fuck. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. It just, it just gets me. It's just... Listen. I know people want to protect children on the internet, but like, let's be real. Twitch is not a place for kids. It, it never has been. Put the hot tub category aside. It's like, even me. The stuff I say and sometimes talk about is just, it's not suitable. Twitch as a whole is not good for kids. So. stuff. This should be a way to disable it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. If, if you want to read the word hipster, you should have the power to be able to do so. That's kind of how I think the whole drama with, like, the hot tub category and the, uh, just chatting stuff would work. It's like, have it blur the thumbnails and shit and not recommend it by default. Like, just don't recommend that stuff by default. But if someone wants to have that stuff in their feed and uncensor it and have it pop up in the recommendations, then let them. I thought I heard a balloon. 
Wait, all you have to do is tap on the message to uncensor it. Man, see, that's just like those pop-ups that appear before you go onto a, a website that, um... That offers a certain type of content, right? And it pops up, hey, before you get to see this content, um, you just need to confirm something. Like that, that sort of website. I'm talking, of course, about news websites that ask you to subscribe, you know, before you can read the article. <laughs> what were you guys thinking, huh? accidentally went to o YouTube as a kid. You could have used that warning. I don't know what that is, and I don't want to find out what that is. I feel like this is one of these things where I could go the rest of my life not knowing what that is. I would not recommend going to that. <laughs> Sea grapes! Let's learn it. How about we learn about sea grapes instead? Sea grapes are a marine algae that look much like their landlocked namesake. That is, they are green, pearl like orbs that cluster tightly along underwater vines. And sea grapes, like regular grapes, are a popular snack food too, albeit of the saltier variety. Fans of the briny delicacy enjoy the way the shiny pearls pop when chewed. It makes one wonder whether sea grape juice might have some appeal. It would leave the drinker with sour grapes, I suppose, oh boy. Okay. Might you help with anything else? Okay. I was trying to read what you just wrote there, but I'm like, even I was confused reading this sentence. <laughs> I'm just trying to form the picture of like, wait. You know what? I, I just won't read that sentence. <laughs> I'm like trying to process what, how the fuck does that work? I think I'm going to ruin myself if I like... Somehow gain the ability to picture that mentally. Like, I, I think that's an image that I'd rather not conjure right now. Well, oh, so, suppose, hang on, tentacle stint. Other creatures may not be fond of this translucent beauty, though. Who can blame them, really? Moon jellyfish have stinging cells called cyanodites that kill fish and other small critters that float by. They use their oral arms to pull these morsels into their mouths and stomachs. Indeed, one need but observe the moon jellyfish to see how brutal and beautiful nature can be. I thought, how, how did we even arrive at this? Like, I, I swear I was talking about something fairly innocuous and now we've just ended up with, like, fake dick and ass and other human parts. <laughs> like, ow. Twitch censorship? Okay. Maybe they do it for a good reason, huh? So let me get this straight. Pipster was censored, but then dick going into ass isn't? Okay, good job protecting the children. 10 out of 10. Um, this is a giant isopod. Now, I'm, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your giant isopod? Wonderful, I would love nothing more. Growing up to nearly 20 inches, the sea-dwelling giant isopod is the world's largest cousin of the pill bug. 20 inches? 20 times as revolting, I say, making matters worse for those of us who find the pill bug repulsive rather than cute. The giant isopod can swim shockingly fast and is known for its vicarious, oh, voracious appetite, sorry. In fact, it's most happy when dining on the carcasses of animals that have sunk to the bottom of the sea. This behavior has earned it a nickname, the vacuum cleaner of the deep. 
Why must nature play such awful pranks on me? Yeah, that is pretty massive. For something that looks like a, a bug. seeing how that looks. Place it. I haven't seen if I've learnt that. Hang on. I can't be bothered going to CJ. <laughs> I'll just sell it here. That's fine. But I think critters don't count. from Stone Otter. So wait, Stoner didn't get censored either, but Hipster did. Stoner did. Oh, well. Do that one. Kinda makes sense, I guess. so weird it's like just trying to sense a text when the stuff that's happening on str on screen is probably worse you can disable it oh well there you go now you can uh partake in the conversation of like hipsters and stoners and well, I guess Dick didn't get censored, but... <laughs> I would say yes, but sorry. That the, there be balloon here. Like, that is just bad timing. Confirm me, are you testing if you can type penis in chat? <laughs> Without it being censored? Okay. This sounds like something out of Family Guy, just getting on the microphone. Excuse me, microphone check one, two, this is penis.
You were making sure the setting worked. It must be a new setting since it wasn't there a week ago. You sure? You sure? You positive? I guess I'm still looking to pull the sunfish to some degree. It was very annoying since it was strict. Yeah, I mean, it definitely sounds pretty strict. If it's censoring hipster, I mean, that's... I mean, I guess if you want to protect children from hipsters, sure. Get the sunfish. Maybe I should just amass like one more set of bait probably going to be easier. Alright. Sunfish had a fin in all the games. I don't remember if it did in this. That's the thing. It's been so long. I'm not sure. It's alright. I'll go to the pier. and There's also the mahi-mahi. Almost certain it does. I'll trust ya. Until it gets confirmed. Yeah, I... I would point you to the direction of the clip where, like, you said... Oh, don't worry, the Blood Moon doesn't affect within a certain range of Link. I'm like, oh, good. And then this Guardian spawned inside of Link. So... For now, I'll trust that you're right. Citation required. Or when you told me to to leave the Temple of the Gods. Oh my god. I completely forgot about that. There's nothing important here. You can go. Oh, okay. Thanks, Confirmy. I trust you because you played this game and you have a lot of nostalgia for Wind Waker. Thank you for steering me in the right direction and not making me waste my time in this temple. <laughs> I forgot about that. Did I fly a Pikmin for? No, eventually I will. I played one. I I picked them all up. So I have the one and two combo pack physically. I have two and I have three. It was one good? It was fun. I mean, as someone that hasn't played the series before, I, I enjoyed it. it. There was a bit of jank AI, and they were kind of like lemmings and would die constantly, but it was funny. The amount of times one of them would just go off course and just get eaten. It's not a very long game, but it was fun. 
I'll definitely check the others out. I mean, I have them, so... We'll see them at some point. game you recommend that I was going to play. I don't remember. Remind me. Shrek for the GameCube? I don't think it was that. I don't remember Shrek ever being mentioned. I know the games we talked about, like Frogger was one. I tried to find a copy of Frogger, but it just... It's, it's insanely expensive. Like, for some reason, Frogger is one of the rarest GameCube games in PAL regions. Because I guess it didn't sell that well. <laughs> so it's like... $400 for a copy of Frogger, just some game that was probably bargain bin pretty quickly. We're talking about GameCube games though, that is the only one I remember. Outside of like... Pikmin, Thousand Year Door, um, Wind Waker, what else have we talked about? The only other GameCube game that I suppose I should check out would be, uh, ba -ba -ba, like Luigi's, the original Luigi's Mansion, because we've got the remake of 2 coming out this year. And I, I haven't checked out either, so... Well, remaster, not remake. Your mother's old boyfriend rented Dragon Ball, and in the case was actually Frogger, so you never returned it. If you want to play the OG, it has to be OG hardware. I mean, I'll see how much it costs to source a copy of it. Because I do have the DS version of it. From what I've heard, the... The, uh, like, retro game market has kind of crashed a little. So things aren't as expensive as they used to be. The game uses the GameCube clicking triggers, and the remakes just can't cope. Okay. Well, now that I have the whole upscaler set up, yeah. Don't know if it'll be anytime soon. I'm still getting through Wario World. That has been a delight so far. <laughs> I've been having a lot of fun with that game. I'm surprised so many people don't know about it. Like, multiple times people are like, whoa, what is this game? Like, I didn't know this existed. Yeah, 
this is the problem I have. It's like I have so many conversations. Sometimes I, f I forget what I've talked about on stream. And every now and then someone will be like, yeah, remember the time you did this? No. I did try Luigi's Mansion at a, a kiosk that had the GameCube when it first released. I thought it was cool, but I also found it weird that it wasn't like a Mario game that was coming out for the release of the GameCube. But, it, I mean, the controller was like, man, this is cool. Again, had they put a DVD player inside the GameCube, I feel like I would have most likely owned one. Probably goes the same for a lot of people. You are a Nintendo household, so are we, but... When it came to that era, it's just, it was a no-brainer. It's like, well, the parents get a DVD player out of the PS2 and the kids get something to play games on. It's just... But I guess we were always behind the generation, so that was, there was also that. I mean, the thing is, games weren't that much cheaper back then. It's like, you know, a full release in Australia was $80-ish, something like that. 70 to $80, which, in terms of inflation, it's closer to like 150 bucks with this day and age's money. Probably why we didn't own a lot of games growing up, but... Secondhand was the way, or like, flea markets as well. And rentals. That's why, I, you know, I get made fun of for loving Donkey Kong Country 3, but Donkey Kong Country 3 was a game that we bought brand new. Hey, DD. Happy New Year. Play Animal Crossing 2. How long have I been playing? Um, I played this game in 2020 and then I started a new island this year just because people wanted to see me play it again. So. I haven't been playing the series too long. But I like playing these kind of games. Amongst other stuff. I always love that you could find cheap games at flea markets. It's just not the case anymore. Would have an hour drive home after shopping and reading the game manuals is lit. Yeah, I understand that feeling as well. It had artwork in it and it'd be telling you about what you would be doing and it's just the anticipation of getting in and putting the cartridge or disc in. That's why I'm still a sucker for, like, picking up retro games physically. It's just that feeling. Putting a cartridge in and using the original controller and stuff. I don't know. It's just part of the experience for me. 
It's still on the first island, oh yeah? Are you doing anything in particular? Oh. This island is so neatly put together. Thank you. I'm still working on it. I'm in the middle of getting all my hybrid flowers, but I'm trying to give each villager a, a house that goes well with them. So like Pietro's house, for example. It's like an amusement park. And then my place is a venue, so it's like has a bar, a place to get food, music rooms, that sort of thing. And then when I go do Happy Home, I do like this little challenge thing where I give myself 15 minutes typically outside, sometimes 10. I think lately it's just been 10 and then 20 minutes inside. So half hour budget to do as much as I can. I forgot that I, I haven't gotten the recipe today, so hang on. Should probably look. You love that the Switch still uses cartridges. Yeah. Same. Ah, oh, it's just a pay chat. Yeah, that's a shame. It's okay. Still working on yours. Have five furnished houses, six is under construction. Okay. It does take a while. Ah, uh, I've been growing flowers for like two months, <laughs> trying to get all the hybrids. But I mean, a lot of houses I've like, this one's probably finished now, I think. Get Peko Tea House. I think Pekka and Pietro's ones are the ones that are pretty much done. I need another one of these statues to put here. My house looks horrible on the outside, but on the inside it's pretty much done. Have I got a new... yeah... Over 3,200 hours in. Damn. Yeah, I don't think I'm that far in. I think this island's just over a hundred days old. I've only really been decorating it since about October. Something like that. Wait, I don't have fish on me? I thought I had fish. Alright, well I'm going to the pier then. I just hope this year remains chill in terms of game releases. Like, last year was insane, just the amount of games that came out. What I'm hoping is this year I can squeeze in more time for retro games. So I have a bunch of different things. Okay, cool. I caught the suckerfish for... Doggo friend. I have this new console that I want to try, but uh, I guess that'll happen at some point. Well, by new console, I mean old console that's like a new machine. What I have? I have a TurboGrafx-16. Well, the analog console of it. So, like, the fancy pants version of it. <laughs> There's some pretty interesting games on that, that thing. Where is Doggo Friend? It's 
just want to give him the fish. What sort of animals have I got? Uh... There. I should answer it. It's easier than trying to remember. <laughs> Where is... Where are they? They were just outside before. in like some corner that I just haven't checked. She gave me her photo. <laughs> cool. I guess that's that's fine. All right, I'm gonna go to the pier and use this bait. I was hoping I'd have luck catching these fish, but this hasn't appeared yet. It with the big shadow. Ah, oh! <laughs> I think that was it as well. Crap. So is that the end of the story that you went to a doctor's appointment and the doors are locked? Or is there more to wait? I was kind of waiting to see if the full story would come out first. Every time I see this fish, I kind of want to get fish to eat. It's 
snap is pretty good. I need to close my eyes when I'm fishing. It's, I fake myself out, otherwise. something. Yes! Napoleon fish. Alright, that's one of the fish I needed. Cool. Alright, cool. Finally! <laughs> that's something. Shame I missed the other one. sell the fish and then I'll go to the happy home thing. I guess it depends who is there and what theme I can do. Alright, Plathers, one more time. about the fish. Quite the catch you've brought, the stately and debonair, debonair Napoleon fish is truly something to behold. Those beady eyes, that bumpy head, that bold blue-green colouring. Alas, this quirky creature is quite endangered due to a variety of factors. Needless to say, we must do our very best to take care of our lumpy friend in its environment. Okay. They're not going to go into why they call it the Napoleon fish.
At the very least, I'll just grab the recipe and... Well, the two recipes and... I guess now the doctor's office is giving me clothing. It just depends what the themes are today. I haven't checked this in a month, so let's just see. They give out something different this time. Sure, I'll take one. Okay, so it's always plants. Treasure map. I kind of want it, but hang on. Uh, it's expensive today. Um, I won't do much. I'll do like... Should be enough. Because I did get a bunch of extra money today. Wait, what do I do? I went the other way, didn't I? Bells to pokey. Didn't I do it? Okay, I thought it would get me more than that. Anyway. Okay. One sec. Um, feel like I could take off into the sky at any time. Locker room, yeah. That one has me intrigued a little. Dramas. Seaside shoot, yeah. Toilets. <laughs> Look at the theme about toilets. The grill. What kind of theme is that? Way. Food. Laundry. You know what? Like a laundromat wouldn't be a bad idea to make us like a outdoor thing. But I think I can do that without resorting to doing one of these builds first. Salad the carrots. It's a French word, so I'm not gonna like butcher it.
Oh, okay. That's... Hmm. Not what I was expecting, but sure. The moss boulder might be nice to place around certain areas. I'll go check the cafe. Go from yesterday. Okay, Faith is here. A nap, instruments, photos. I guess the sky theme. We'll go with that. Whatever that might mean. I don't think I've done a house for a rhino anyway, so. Oh wait, no, I, that's a lie, the dessert rhino. <laughs> Gateway to the sky. What? It's just a chair and a cart. <laughs> it's not... How is that sky themed? Okay, I guess let's see. I was expecting something special out of that. Uh, I'm running out of... Okay, you know what? I'll get this one. This one's fine. Um, I'll do one level. Next time I'll do a two level one. I can always change it later as well if I want to give them a roommate. Let me get my timer out. Okay, 10 minutes outside, 10 minutes indoors. I think this might actually work pretty well. Wait, don't move yet. Alright, 10 minutes start now. Problem is, oh yeah, they don't have that many options here. Time. Okay, so what's on order here? What does? Wow, there's really not a lot here, huh? Okay, I guess just wing it. Here I thought it'd have stuff like telescopes or whatever, but it doesn't. Well, 
Well, I'm gonna go with that theme. I guess a place to look at things. Assuming the telescope is even here. science pod. <laughs> Maybe indoors. I think this is not a bad idea. Putting like a little tent up here. Making it face that way. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Is this really not going to have the telescope? Like, is the idea that I had out the window? I kind of almost regret picking this theme now. Almost, not quite. So, uh, laptop, a camera. doesn't have a telescope. I wanted to do like a stargazer sort of thing. Unless I missed it. I don't think I did. Oh, there it's here. Okay, cool. It is here. minutes. Let's just finish this up.
going as quick as I can. Doesn't matter. This. Oh. Slot. Okay. Um, I need two chairs quickly. might get in the way, hold on. Uh, where is the campfire thing? Assuming we have it. I'm gonna spend time at the end to turn on the fires, so that's just fine adjustments I can do. Not enough room. Eh. Oh well. Time up. <laughs> I'll throw this here. Okay. I'll just do fine adjustments. I guess this is kind of in the way. Hang on. Move this here. Right, this is fine, I think. It works. For 10 minutes without really thinking too much. Does the job. Indoors. 20 minutes. Just gonna set up lighting that I want to use. We'll do blue. Okay. 20 minutes start now. Okay. Did this give me any new flooring options? It did. Okay, that's cool. We'll go with that. Wool. Oh, that is kind of tacky. There, that. That's what we want.
then there's a decorative wall. We'll do that. Maybe not that. Let me find one that works. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Setting this up all while I'm here. How to divide this up properly. Okay, I think that's fine. Place this here. Okay. Let's get going. This will work the way I want it to. I need a one by one. Where are the one by ones? I know there's a one by one. That's the one. Alright, I'm taking this arrangement and putting it over here. These space sounds are eerie. I'm spending a lot of time on the floor. In fact, it should do this, shouldn't it? Ah, that's better. Okay. Lighting scheme. I'll do the old tri light trick.
Sir. Can extend this by one more. Okay, very much time. Drop a few of these around the place. Extra light. All right. Next. I need a table. See if I can make like an intimate living room here. That's doable. Dreamy bed. Sloppy bed. Go with that. Doesn't. I guess it's gotta be here. That's fine. You can barely see that. <laughs> Kitchen. Um, this one. Sink. The, this one has a sink, right? Yeah, it does. All right, cool.
What's... Just... Yeah. <laughs> so it's not so quiet anymore. I suppose I don't need that. I have here. I'm a little disappointed in the theme, not gonna lie. Thought there'd be more to it. Deal with the microwave went. Oh, there it is. That's cool. I might put some some of this stuff around. Where's the lava lamp? I've been looking for that. Let's 
assuming there is one. Whoa, that's massive. Crazy. Don't think it fits. I'm trying to do ambient light with this. Maybe just doing this will do. Let's just start putting stuff around. to be different with this. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, no, not there. Yeah, here, here, here. Oh, because that pulls there. That makes sense. Max is pretty unique. I didn't find the lava lamp, which is what I wanted. Um, I mean, let me see. That's the only thing I would want, but I don't think it's here. It's because it makes a good light source. Surprised this one didn't have more stuff, like I would have expected the moon seats and stuff like that. But it just didn't have anything. It's gateway to the stars and all it had was just a recliner and a cart. So weird. Yeah, it's not here. Okay. Let me just step through and make sure it's functional. 
let's turn that on. I mean, I think it looks nice. Oh, this painting's still here. Get rid of that painting. It accidentally got rid of the map. Hang on. Fix that. Targeted the wrong thing. kitchen. The kitchen's big. And we have like a cryopod, I guess. That's yeah, fine. It's like theme is correct. This one was weird. I was expecting more out of it. I heard you put up some scaffolding on the north beach. Yeah, Benny Prep is moving in the right off oh, right along. Pretty excited. I'm too. Maybe I'll go take a look at your handiwork later on. Will's working hard, so I gotta work hard too. That's good to hear. I'm counting on you two to keep up the good work. We're getting there. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's... hmm. Can't imagine what that's gonna look like. Alright, I did the thing. stuff for tomorrow. Rally? Do I have rally? I probably just go with the lights so it'll finish off the lighting upstairs. I probably have rally. Let's just see. Mar oh no, I have March. Oh no, yeah, I have Rally. Okay, cool. Then... I am just gonna order... Hmm. 
Because I just needed five, so that's it. And that'll wrap up the upstairs. Alright, cool. Done and sorted. Alright, I'm gonna leave it here. It's a good session, and it gets it out of the way, so later on... We got more time for Warrior and whatnot. Alright, I'm gonna take a bit of a break. I'm gonna go do some things before dinner. But if you were here for Animal Crossing, thanks for tuning in. Or if you're watching us later on YouTube, thanks for also sticking around to the end. And if you want to support the channel over there, just uh, do things like click the like button or watch me play other things by clicking one of the videos. Either way, it does help out a lot. So appreciate those that do do that. And yeah, we'll see you next time.